Hello friends, this video on Hello Alkanes and Hello Arenes part 30 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let's understand Friedel Craft reaction. Friedel Craft reaction, we have Friedel Craft alkylation reaction and Friedel Craft acylation reaction. Let's understand Friedel Craft alkylation reaction. So in Friedel Craft alkylation reaction, what we do is we again take a Hello Arene. So in this case, I took my uh, chlorobenzene. So in this case we react with CH3Cl, again we use AlCl3 to make this better electrophile and what you get is CH3, added here and added at this position, fourth and para position. And again this is my major product and this will be this Cl here right, this will be 1 chloro 4 methyl benzene. Right, one chloro, four methyl, benzene. This is my product. So, in this case, we add CH3Cl in the presence of AlCl3. Same reaction mechanism, same thing. So, what we do is here, if you see, I'll write a mechanism here. So, CH3Cl, when you add with AlCl3, what it will do, this it will attack this. Uh, attach this chlorine toward itself, so what you get is this compound CH3ClAlCl3. This will be a slightly negative charge, slightly positive charge. This slightly positive charge is the one I have. This is my nucleophile, sorry electrophile, this is my electrophile. So if you see the reaction mechanism, I can do the same way. Right, I have a Cl here, then I have a CH3 plus here, which we got because we have CH3 Cl and Al Cl3. This guy will react, touch with this guy, there's a hydrogen here, everywhere it is hydrogen. Again, just to make sure you don't forget this hydrogen. Now, this hydrogen, this CH3 plus cation will hit this carbon and it will form something like this. This will be something like this. This bond will break, let's suppose, into negative and positive. Let's assume. So, negative will touch with this, it will form CH3. There was a hydrogen already here, and this positive will be here. Correct? In case you don't understand the flow method, you can just break this bond. And this is a Cl. And again, this will also go for resonance. If you want, you can draw the resonating structure for this. So, let me draw some. This electron will move in this direction. So, the Cl will get a positive charge. And we'll have a bond here, and here will be H, and here will be CH3. Again, we can break this bond, let this, let this bond move in this direction, get a negative charge, positive charge, negative and positive form a bond here. Negative positive form a bond, it's already there, this bond broke. So, this bond broke, I got negative and positive, that means I got a positive here. This is H, this is CH3. So, it's stable with resonance, right? So, now what I've got is this guy now. From this, I have to remove hydrogen. So, what will happen is this bond will break in this fashion. In this fashion. Correct? This hydrogen bond will break into positive and negative. In that way, you can do positive and negative, and this negative and positive will form a bond. So, you see, this is what will happen. So this will break, and this negative and positive will form a bond here, and CS3 was there, and H plus will go out, and H plus will link with this guy. H plus is there out in the market. It will again combine with this compound. Correct. So let's talk about Friedel-Craft acylation reaction. Almost similar to Friedel-Craft alkylation reaction. The only difference here is, so instead of using CH3Cl, we use CHRCOCl here. Here also we use same thing AlCl3. And what you get here is, Instead of adding CH3, you add this or in the Tara position, major, major product. Say, so, right, you add this is 4 chloro acetophenol. 4 chloro acetophenol. Correct. This is Friedel-Craft acylation reaction. 
reaction mechanism is almost similar to what we have done in alkylation reaction exactly same not much difference so if you want i can do it here so if you see this reaction is i have ch3 co cl the cst can be any r actually plus al cl3 it will form something like this ch3 co cl and al cl3 right this will get a slightly positive charge here this will get a slightly negative charge this is my attacking reagent correct right? this is electron hungry so it is electrophile so again same same reaction we have the cl can attack with r co plus and sticking r to make it more generic and this will make sure that you add r at ortho position and at para position this position and this position Correct. That is the reaction. Now we'll talk about the reaction with metals called Wurz-Fittig reaction. This is a free radical reaction. So in this case, a mixture of alkyl halide, we take alkyl halide, we take aryl halide, and we take uh, metal sodium, and this gives this as output. Alkyl arene. So we'll see the reaction. So if you see here, this is my aryl halide. Let's take any aryl halide. The next is alkyl halide. So we'll take any alkyl halide. The next is sodium. We'll take any sodium, and this will be ether. So what you get here is. It's like R plus NaX. And the reason why we are doing an ether is because it's also an equilibrium kind of reaction. So in ether, this NaX is not soluble, it precipitates out. So you take out this more and more, the reaction will move in the forward direction. So this is almost an equilibrium reaction, but we use ether here and make sure that you take out this NaX. Similar reaction, but instead of using alkyl halide, we use aryl halide only. Two of these that will be called Fittig reaction. So you can see this. So here, if you see, we use aryl halide only, and we treat with sodium and dry ether, and they gives me the output. So if you see this, what I do is I use two of this aryl halide and I add in sodium. Again, we use ether here. Because it can precipitate uh, the sodium and the uh, halide will be precipitated out, and we can move the reaction in the forward direction, right? So, an X, this we can take out the reaction will move in forward direction, correct? So, the reaction mechanism is pretty simple actually. It's all a uh, free radical reaction. You have some Rx, let's suppose the moment you react with metal, right, or sodium, let's suppose in this case, so it gives you R free radical and NaX. Now this is the chain initiation state. Now this is again a chain. Uh, uh, what do you call it? progress step where this uh, will react with a uh, metal. We go to Rm or this Rm and Rx. We have to form Rr. And again metal X will be an X. This metal is Na here. So free radical reaction actually. You should not understand, I mean, not required to go deep into this, so I'll not go much deep into this kind of reaction. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.